Your credibility will go downhill among the YouTube community. People are mostly interested in what you have to say because you work at Amazon. When you're disconnected from a real job, will people take you seriously if you're just a YouTuber? Well, that's pretty harsh. I sometimes ask myself how the next generation will be. Seems like millennials and Gen Z just don't understand what hard work means. It's all about becoming famous and getting likes nowadays. So around two months ago, I posted this video announcing that I left my job at AWS to become a full-time YouTuber. The video went kind of viral and somehow sparked a bit of a debate in the comments. On one hand, I had people who were incredibly supportive and shared their stories and experiences with me. But I also received some comments that were just not very nice. I know on the internet, people are free to say whatever they want, but I do think there's a bit of misguided information out there on what it's actually like pursuing a career that is not a traditional 9-to-5 job. One of the biggest questions I've gotten is, do you regret quitting your job at AWS? You know, with company layoffs and everything going on with the world, do you think you made a mistake leaving a stable, high-paying tech career? The short answer is no. I believe this has been one of the best career decisions I've ever made, even though some people think otherwise. In this video, I want to walk you through my thought process of why I decided to abandon everything I had at AWS. You know, the steady income, free business travel, and company perks to pursue something that doesn't provide any of that. By the way, I want to make it clear that I had a great experience working at AWS and learnt a lot during my two years as a solutions architect. People were speculating whether I left because I hated my job, but that just wasn't the case for me. All right, so in the I quit my job at AWS video, I listed three reasons why I decided to leave my job to become a full-time YouTuber. The first reason is because I love making videos and helping out the cloud community. Second reason is because I believe there's potential for Tech with Lucy to grow even further and impact more people. And finally, money and the long-term earning potential of YouTube. For me, this pretty much translates into happiness, fulfillment, and financial flexibility, which are three factors I really value when choosing a career. It took me around two years to learn the whole process of how to make high quality, engaging videos. And so when I did make the jump to doing YouTube full-time, I knew that I could still continue adding value to the Tech with Lucy community, even if I didn't have the badge of honor or credibility of being a solutions architect at AWS. It really wasn't a decision I made overnight, so as scary as it was, I knew I was going to be okay. And I'm definitely not alone on this journey. There's been many tech YouTubers over the years who have quit their jobs to make videos full time. Which brings me on to a reason I didn't mention in my previous video. And yes, I'm going to be brutally honest with all of you, starting with this clip from Gary Vee that perfectly explains what I want to say. I'm sure at this point, plenty of people have heard about the great resignation. The thing that I'm way more worried about as all of you go on your journey to build the things that you want to build is the great never applying in the first place. The amount of options 17, 19, 22 year olds have going into the world and they're aware of it, of how easy it is to make $60,000 a year flipping on eBay, making content on TikTok. There are so many more options than what we grew up with if you're over 35 here, that it's profound. You have to understand what's coming up the ranks. These are 15, 17, 19 year olds that aren't lazy, that are not entitled, that are not soft. They have options. This is not about they don't wanna work. This is about I'm 16 and I make $250,000 a year on YouTube ads. This is not they're soft, this is they're smart. What I've come to realize is that hard work is not necessarily a direct reflection of a better career. So to address this YouTube comment, it's not about being famous and getting lots of likes. It's about leveraging YouTube as a platform to help others and share valuable content at scale. The barrier of entry to starting your own side business or side hustle is much lower these days. You don't need to buy inventory or rent an expensive warehouse. And to make YouTube videos, all you really need is a phone and a laptop. So even though a high paying job is a very good option and can bring along great future prospects, it's important to be aware that there are also other ways to make money and it's all about finding what works best for you. Before I move on to the next reason, which is a bit more of a personal one, I'd like to take a moment to introduce today's video sponsor, NordVPN. A VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and is a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. NordVPN is an easy to use VPN service that enables you to access content from all over the world whilst keeping your data and applications safe. Whether you want to hide your IP address or access content only offered in certain countries, NordVPN allows you to open up a map, click on a location and get connected in seconds. They now offer threat protection, which is a major upgrade that blocks intrusive ads and web trackers. So if you download a file, 
it will inspect for malware. It also automatically scans URLs and blocks malicious ones. If you're looking for a VPN service, you can head to nordvpn.com forward slash lucytech to get a two year plan plus four additional months with a huge discount. Okay, so the next reason is a bit more of a personal one and depending on your personality type, this might resonate with you. As an INFP, if you're into 16 personality types, I'm naturally someone who really enjoys alone time and loves to understand the big picture before I work on something. With YouTube, I have this broad vision of I want to help people build their technical skills and land a job in the cloud industry. But it's pretty much a blank canvas and I'm given the creative freedom to decide how I want to achieve that vision. You might think being a YouTuber is only for extroverts and people who love being in front of the camera, but it can actually be quite a lonely process. When you think about it, you're spending hours every day coming up with new video ideas, writing a script, and talking in front of a camera by yourself. So even though being a YouTuber or full-time content creator was never something I had as a childhood dream ever, it surprisingly aligns quite well with my personality and what I enjoy. And no, I'm not worried that YouTube won't be around forever. If tech company layoffs and hiring freezes have taught us anything, it's that no good opportunity will be around forever. It's the skills you develop from your experiences that stay with you. Let's say you have a friend working as a senior software developer in a tech company who suddenly loses their job. Chances are they'll be able to find a new job in a similar position and won't have to start over as a junior developer. The same concept applies with being a full-time YouTuber. So if YouTube goes down as a platform, all the skills you develop from making videos and running a business can be directly transferable to other social media platforms and even other industries. Anyways, that's enough from me. This is not the type of video I normally make, so let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.